the Terrace View Apartments. The final scene in one of Toledo's darkest chapters. On September 18, 1981, serial killer Anthony Cook murdered Peter Sawicki. He shot Todd Sabo. He attempted to rape Todd's girlfriend, Leslie Sawicki. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth is usually got Cook is suspected of killing 10 people. His brother Nathaniel likely helped him with four of those executions. I told him this, this guy tried to rape me and he's with my boyfriend and he's got a gun. And I Testimony by Leslie Sawicki and Todd Sabo helped stop the killers. Are you able to forgive Anthony and Nathaniel? Oh, absolutely. 100%. You know, forgiveness is, you know, it's, it's the key. It's the key to our faith. You know, Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. So forgiveness is everything. Survivors, family members, they are strong, resilient, even hopeful. Forty years, healing happens, but pain never goes away completely. You know, I have kids now, which I didn't have back then, but um, it's one of them things that they never knew their uncle. Just saw pictures on the wall. Scott Moulton was shot to death in the trunk of a car alongside Denise Sajakowski. For 16 months, the Cook brothers stalked couples on the streets of Toledo. The city's nights were filled with terror. He told my boyfriend at the time to hold me tight because it was the last time he was ever going to hold us. And then I heard the gun go off. A bullet tore into Cheryl Bartlett's back forcing her to fight for her life inside a Segur Avenue garage. She knows Nathaniel Cook is now walking free because of a plea deal. She's scared, but she's a survivor. 30 surgeries, a broken body, but not a broken spirit. I just like to tell him that he may have done what he did to me when he was 18, when I was 18, and I was a victim. I'm not no victim no more. A little more than three months after a bullet traveled through his neck into his brain, Todd Sabo returned to the wrestling mat at the University of Toledo. He finished second in the conference in his junior year. A broken spirit, but not a broken body. I'm a wrestler. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, 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 we're taught when, you know, any, any athlete or any person in the world pretty much, you know, we're taught to, to fight back. We're taught to, you know, you know the world says get even. He conquered the physical pain, but not the emotional demons, until, he says, he found God 15 years ago. That relationship has given him the ability to offer forgiveness. A world without forgiveness is a, a world of constant, constant revenge and retribution. We don't like the idea that someone can be, do something horrible and be let off the hook until we realize we're horrible and we've been let off the hook. But he understands that others will never forgive the Cook brothers. 12-year-old Don Backus was found in the basement of the now demolished State Theater. She was raped and murdered. The slimy creatures of the earth that took my most precious gift from God, they need flushed down the gutter. The crime was so brutal that Don's mother, Sharon, will never release the hate in her heart. She keeps a landline, awaiting a call that the cooks have died or that they've been killed. Every single day, she remembers the girl who would not walk on her neighbor's lawns because she didn't want to be disrespectful. She was so happy and pleasant. She said her prayers every night, asking God to bless all the people and the animals in the world. The murders changed families forever. Steve Moulton grew up without his brother. He worked hard to make sure he wouldn't lose others. My wife going to the grocery, grocery store, um, kids going out and making sure uh, you know, we knew where they were at, things like that. Uh, we probably were extra cautious, uh, but they understood. Yeah. Might not have liked it all the time, but they understood. For Cheryl, her family was her salvation. She says that her husband is her rock. He comforts her when the nightmares come, and they will probably always come. But she wants to make it clear that she is not weak. 
Well, I have a scar from the middle of, all the way going down to my stomach. And I look at it and I may have been a victim at one time, but I'm a survivor now. 40 years ago, evil descended on the streets of Toledo. 40 years later, survivors have their hope, their strength. For family and friends, they will always have their memories. She had big brown eyes that seemed to say, the world is mine, I'm here today. So friendly, so gentle, so much fun to behold, yet quiet and caring and a heart full of gold. She entered our lives in her small way, that ever tender smile, her loving way. I thought to myself, if I have a true friend, never dreaming that it would so abruptly end. She was taken today, no answer as to why. We only know it left us to cry. The sorrow and grief we now have all felt, emptiness of meaning of what fate had dealt. God grants us the faith and the peace we need now and strength to forgive and a way to show how. To what she gave her life and her way will hold in our hearts until our last day.